YouTubers, how's it going? Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. Let me just tilt my brim here a bit for the sun. I'm on my beautiful balcony here in my new house. You can follow the segment um, in my channel called Living the Dream. I finally bought a house outside the city and I'm motivating people to get out of the city. You don't need to live in the city. I bought this 11 bedroom house with seven washrooms and unlimited amount of space I need for under 300,000 all in. 270. So I wanted to relay this message to you guys, and it's a good section of my channel. It's called uh, "Living the Dream." You'll see it there. Anyway, so let's get to, let's get to this uh, article here. I really want to read to you guys. It's really good. It's called Five Facts That Defined Canada's New Construction Housing Market in 2016." And it, this is a good article. It's by uh, Buzz Buzz News Canada. So I'm going to read it for you guys. Dated bungalows selling way over asking in super competitive Canadian housing markets often grab headlines, but 2016 was hardly quite the year in Canada's new construction housing market. That much is clear from even quick scan of the Buzz Buzz Homes Toronto and Vancouver New Homes Outlook, which each include an overview of national markets developments and over the past year as well. The comprehensive reports that work off Buzz Buzz Homes research team provide an in-depth look not only where the market is headed, but where it's, being, uh, where it's been recently. Here are five facts that define the new building segment in 2016. So the thing is, it's really good to have this kind of, uh, uh, you know, this, this mathematical equation that they do and they kind of put in percentages and equations and stuff and find out where things are at. And that's following the trend in the market. But the problem is, uh, it's really hard with the underlying stuff that the government throws in, right? They throw in this, and then they throw in this new buyer's uh, home loan, and this and that. You cannot factor those into your into your equation if you don't know when they're going to come up. But here goes. Let's look at this. <laughs> Number one, each quarter, a minimum of 170 new developments sold out in Canada. Look at that. Toronto had more cranes than any other city in North America last year. Clearly, builders banked on being able to sell higher number of units there. And they did, as the city consist consistently outperformed all others for sales, specifically among the 10 biggest census metro areas. The third quarter was the, the busiest for developers selling out across Canada. And Toronto provided the biggest boost during that three-month period in two period 205 canadian developers sold out toronto topped the list with 110 sellouts followed by vancouver a distant second at 33 sellouts that's a huge distance from 110 to 33 number two half the top 10 most active markets for residential development were in ontario it's probably not unexpected that Toronto led all senses in metro areas for the total of numbers of active developments in 2016 at 1,132. Housing projects that are more than Vancouver, 552. Edmonton, 415. Combined and accounts with 32% of the active developments in a 10 leading markets. But, f but four other Ontario cities were in the top 10. Ottawa, 228. Kitchener, Waterloo, 101. 103, Hamilton 102, and London, Ontario at 64. Two. Three, Canadian colonial development increased by 11% on average, but new housing development is getting denser, according to Buzz Buzz Homes' notable trends in Canada section of the National Report. However, it's a story of highs and lows. The number of housing developments with units for sale dropped 10%. At the same time, with the report says reflects an increasing demand for the city living a wakeable communities generated in part by unaffordable single family pricing. People are being bought out of the market, just like Vancouver here in the last 10 years. People were being bought out Silicon Valley, San Francisco, people being bought out of the markets, Sydney, Australia, Melbourne, everywhere. Number four, Matame Homes was the most viewed developer on Buzz Buzz Home. Madame Homes, 122,376, 11 selling developments, 9 developments in registration, 1 pending development. A vast majority of house hunt, hunts start online, so a builder online presence is worth, is worth nothing. 
The major North American builder, Madame Homes, racked up the greatest number of unique visitors by Canadian projects on Buzz Buzz Home last year. Madame Homes' Homes Can Canadian pages attracted a total of 122,376 visitors while it's active in the U.S. and north of the border, touching the Toronto and Ottawa, Edmonton, and Calgary markets. Number five, the median price of a single-family home in Hamilton is more expensive than in Vancouver. Trends are changing. The wave is coming from my east to your west, or east to west, or west to east, whatever you want to call it. The wave is getting there. It's no secret, Hamilton's housing market is hot, riding on the shoulders of Toronto's strong price performance, but it may come to a shock to see how pricey the new housing stock has gotten in, in Steeltown. In the fourth quarter of 2016, the median price for a single-family home in Hamilton was $1 million. Only Toronto was more expensive at $1,100,000. Valued place, uh, Va Vancouver placed third with a medium of 976000 So I wanted to read this article for you guys to let you know, and it's happening. So Toronto is going to have to put um, stringence on vacant homes. You're going to see lots of vacant homes, detached homes in, in, in Toronto. Just like you saw here in Vancouver the last couple of years, you go for walks. And a lot of people are asking me, well, I'm watching your videos on the streets and there's nobody out. I know it's a Saturday afternoon at 4 in the afternoon. And it's sunny and there's nobody playing. But what are all those cars there? Well, I'll tell you what those cars are there for. And I found out. There are people that park there and they walk to the SkyTrain to go downtown so they don't have to pay for parking. So that's that. I figured that out. Somebody explained that to me. And, I'm, and I said the same thing. There's so many cars here. What, what? But the houses are all empty. There's, there's People park and walk a couple of blocks to their house if they have extra cars because they don't they don't charge for parking on those some of those streets there uh, in uptown Vancouver. So anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys to let you guys get you guys the insight of what's going on. Like it's really, really... I'm, I'm here to motivate you guys. Powerful videos. I'm trying to motivate you guys to get out of the city. I think the city's a conspiracy, just like banks are, just like uh, the banks, the Federal Reserve, all those kind of things were, you know, moon landing hoax, uh, 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 world governments, all that stuff that people talk about. I think living in the city is one of those too. I believe that living in the city is, 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 is like a brainwashed. You're brainwashed into thinking that you need to be part of a bigger group to be able to survive. I'm here. I've been. I've been. I'm. I'm being offered jobs everywhere. I walked. I walked downtown. Watch my other video. Walking to downtown Merritt. Uh, I went with my stepson. We went out to see if there was an open a barber open because he starts school tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Valentine's. Tomorrow's February 14th. Plus, it's in a gorgeous week. And everyone's worried about the weather outside of Vancouver. The, uh, we're actually having better weather than than Vancouver is going to have this this. Till the end of February, and March is already spring. Thing is, when you live out west, you gotta remember something. Spring is true. What I mean by true means when when spring hits, it's spring. Flowers and birds chirping and beautiful weather, and that's living out east. Like if you're in New York, uh, if you were in Chicago, Toronto, uh, Ottawa, places like that, it doesn't get warm till June or May, 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 May two for a weekend. It starts to get better. But here in March, it's true spring. You can pl start planting your garden ready for the summer. You can start getting things done here. I'm motivating people to get out. Get out. Check out the sites. You know, maybe take a weekend off. Uh, take a weekend, you know, with the, with the wife and the kids and maybe go up to the country. See what's going on out there. You know, communicate with people. You know, I, I think there's potential in little towns. And I think people are brainwashed to think that they need to be big, part of a bigger... This, this bigger thing to, to be able to survive. And the thing is, okay, when I was in Vancouver, it's like, oh, you know, there's not a lot of people in America. I've talked to more people here in one week than I've talked in six months, uh, complete strangers, than I've talked in six months in Vancouver, in one week here. Everyone's waving from their cars. Everyone's saying hi. Everyone's in a great mood. Everyone's happy here. Everyone's just so more chill here. The traffic is beautiful here. And that's what I'm trying to spread to you guys, the, the happiness of being outside. You know what I'm saying? So if you're out, out east and you don't want to come out west, I'm thinking like really, really up north in, in Ontario or west in Ontario. I know like there's parts like outside of Windsor where it's still pretty inexpensive and out in the country there outside of Windsor, Ontario, Leamington, Ontario. If you're out that way, you can buy cheap homes still. Uh, Windsor's still pretty cheap. Uh, there's a lot of places you can still go in Ontario and you can start networking and actually build yourself up. I just want to motivate you guys to get out, enjoy this. Oh, 
I'm going to go fishing on Thursday or hiking. I'm not sure. I'm going to go fishing on Thursday, Wednesday. It's going to be just great weather all week. And it looks like it's, I looked up the 28-day, 30-day forecast, and it looks like it's trailing into spring with nice weather like this. You know what I'm saying? And I want, I, I just wanted to get you guys out of the city and out and about and networking. I just think it's a conspiracy. People are made to believe that they need to be part of a bigger network to be able to survive. But meanwhile, when I lived in Vancouver, and I noticed Vancouver is a very unhappy city, and the front page of one of the the Globe, it wasn't the Globe, it was the one of the newspapers, uh, the free newspapers to give out the SkyTrain, saying Vancouver, one of the most unhappy city in Canada, and it's true, very very antisocial, nobody talks to each other, uh, you don't know your neighbors, people just don't like. It's almost a burden. You walk into someone's restaurant, you want to go spend some money there, they look at you like you're a burden, like you're. Don't why are you here? I don't want you in my in my restaurant, you know. So, I I just was really tired of living in a place where I wasn't welcome, and I know when I'm not welcome. So I took my family, we bought this gigantic house, and I'm still trying to partition what the rooms are going to be, what like what the rooms are. I know I'm going to have a gym in one. I'll keep like yes, and I'm not trying to boast or show off. I'm trying to get you guys out of the city because I think it's proper. This is Canada proper. You're looking at Canada proper behind me. This is Canada proper. This is like Canada. Real Canada. And I'm not trying to badmouth or trash Vancouver, but it's just when I was there, it just it was really hard to make friends. Really hard to, you know, when I was there single, it was impossible to find, to get on, to get a date. Impossible. Um, the whole, the whole thing. Like, it's a whole kit and caboodle. It's, a, it's the package. is just, needs repair. Anyways. I couldn't fix it, so I left. I ran away. But I think I'm doing okay. Anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this whole thing, about this uh, article I just read for you guys. Very interesting article. Um, let me know. Comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.